Hello, this is Clark with Learn to Blog. In the second video, what we're going to be talking about is the Genesis framework and the child themes that go along with that. There are, uh, there are a couple places we can go to kind of research about uh, the Genesis framework. I definitely invite anybody who is interested in it to go to YouTube, search Genesis framework, and look at the videos that come up you'll get a lot of information ab about how Genesis works. You'll probably hear a bunch of metaphors like um, Genesis is like the um, frame of a car, WordPress is like the engine of that car, and a child theme is like uh, the body of that car, of how it looks, you know, the aesthetics. And that's kind of how it all works together. Um, that's a pretty common uh, uh, metaphor a lot of folks uh, use to, uh, to describe that, So, or an analogy. This is the back end of uh, Ultimate Blog Design, and what we're going to do is we are going to focus on, we're going to focus on uh, Genesis here, this, this little guy right here, and uh, all the different options that are in here. Now, some of the options that are in here have to do with uh, the Genesis plugins, and we're going to cover that in a separate video. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just focus on actually theme settings right here. So I went ahead and selected that, and within the theme settings, you can do um, all kinds. You have all sorts of options here, and I'm just going to just kind of run through them. So here we go uh, for information. Uh, you have the option to do uh, automatic updates, so I uh, definitely leave that checked off. You can have um, your website notify you when it does an update or when there's an update available. So if you don't want to do it automatically, you can just be notified. So it's awesome. Or you could do both. Um, color style. Um, some of the child themes come with uh, different uh, color um, color schemes. Um, the one we're in right now is uh, Generate Pro and this one comes with blue, green, and orange. And We have it on default right now which I, I believe is uh, either black or gray or red or something like that. Then we have custom feeds. Um, to do a custom feed you have to uh, put in a uh, specific URL here and then a custom comments feed. You can put that in here as well. Um, that is uh, <clears throat> more information about there is uh, handled by these guys down here. So feed blitz or feed burner um, are those options. So if you're interested in that, definitely do uh, a search for one of these. Um, I believe you have to start up an account, and then uh, once you do that, you'll generate some sort of URL, and you'll be able to uh, put those in there. So you have an option to change your layout if you'd like. So with this, you can do um, w what these images dictate is uh, header at the top, content to the left, sidebar to the right. The, this one is kind of header at the top, um, sidebar to the left, content to the right. This one's without a sidebar at all. So those are three different options uh, for navigation. It's um, <clears throat> It is letting you know that uh, in order to view primary navigation menu settings, you must build a custom menu and then assign it to the primary menu location. So that is how that works. So um, you would go into appearance and then you would uh, you would build that custom menu right there. Um, breadcrumbs. This is uh, letting people know it. it shows where you are as far as uh, pages leading into pages, things of that nature. Um, and it shows uh, that information um, on your your website, on the front. Um, going down a little bit more, uh, let's see here, and you can uh, control kind of where that information is displayed. Let's see here, comments and trackbacks. Um, this is uh, pretty much where you are enabling comments. 
So if uh, if you want com pretty much right now it's just comments on and trackbacks on posts, but you can do those on pages as well if you'd like. Uh, select one of the following: display post content. Uh, so this is your ar archives. Uh, so you can uh, you can do excerpts or content. So on your archive pages, where you would see, say, if you clicked on an author of your post or a, uh, a category, it would bring you to a archive page where you could see either a all the content of all the posts or just excerpts. Okay, excerpts is probably best. But if you did content, you could limit that content to say, oh, I don't know, 200 characters. That's it. So 200 letters and spaces. Um, and you can include the feature image. Sure, it's probably not a bad idea. Um, and medium is probably best for that. Image alignment, left is good. Post navigation technique, numeric. Just do previous and next. Um, let's see what's next here. Display which category? All categories. So these are the ones that are uh, coming with the theme. Um, you will you'll be deleting these and uh, substituting your own. Um, and then you can have it uh, exclude specific category IDs. And this is uh, this is on your blog page or your front page if you choose to show your your uh, blog entries on your very front page. So you can have some categories not be shown at all, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Um, there's reasons for that. And then number of posts to show on that page. I would say probably five would be a better choice than three. And then header and footer scripts. This is if you have some special code that you need to put into the header or the footer. And then we save those settings. And that's it. So um, other other things for us to take a look at. Okay, so this is uh, the feature page of the Genesis uh, framework and why it is so wonderful. So I'm just going to read off some of these items here. We have uh, search engine optimization that's built into it, um, responsive HTML5 designs, unlimited everything, Everything? Everything. Wow, that's awesome. Airtight security. Uh, instant updates, which we kind of talked about that um, a moment ago. Uh, cust customizable and fast. Uh, widgets and layout options. Developers you can trust. Cool. So you have a whole team. This is telling me I have a whole team of people trying to make this as best of a product as possible. It's making it better and better. So that's great. Um, and then uh, you can definitely go to studiobreast.com slash features to, to learn more about these things. So for example, a lot of folks are interested in uh, search engine optimization. So let's learn more about that. Wow. So we have lots of great information here um, and how that works. Um, now, one of the great parts of the ultimate blog design is that you you do have your choice of um, child themes that you can uh, can can do um, and those child themes are can be found right here at uh, my dot studiopress.com slash themes and here you can search for these these blogs or I'm sorry these uh, these blog or site themes, child themes, um, you would look through here and see if you can find one that works for you. This is the one that I currently have installed right now. And uh, we go to full theme demo. Looks a little bit different than what I, uh, I have uh, going on because I've customized it a little bit. But you can definitely change these items to to whatever you need and it looks uh, looks really great L really clean really professional um, keep in mind you want the focus of your site to be your content not the theme itself so the theme just allows you to display that content in a professional manner
that really kind of reflects the, the maybe the style uh, a little bit here and there. But you don't want it to uh, to take uh, center stage to uh, you know the whole purpose of the site. So um, don't uh, don't be afraid to let your content be the thing that people come to see. Not necessarily the theme of the site. The theme is the uh, the hero that kind of works in the background that makes it, um, your site really easy to navigate and really easy to read and follow. So, because there's some themes out there that really do not um, really do not achieve that at all. So, uh, kind of moving back here, we'll close this demo here. Um, you also have some uh, really great options for. Um, how to set these up to make it look just like you see it on the website, what I just showed you here. So if you're interested in making your site look just like this, it can. Um, uh, we can definitely provide uh, documentation and step-by-step -step guides on how to do that, in addition to these videos, of course. So um, that pretty much uh, covers the different child themes that are available. Um, really good point here anything marked with this um, this ribbon this little sign here that says third party theme that theme will not be available uh, to to download unless you want to purchase it separately um, everything else uh, we are more than happy to accommodate but um, these we do not have access to so please keep that in mind um, but but uh, definitely any of those we would happy we would be happy to uh, to give you uh, with this uh, with this product here, the ultimate blog design. And that's it for Genesis and Child themes. If you have any questions regarding this or anything like that, please always um, let us know. Thank you so much.